Thanks for joining us again. On we're on another part for YouTube now. Uh, so MWO is all online then. Okay, I see. So uh, it's all online based. So kind of like I suppose Destiny, other games like that, where it's all based as online. You have your objectives, but it's all still always online kind of thing. World of Warcraft's like that. So we got to kill flame callers and vanquishers. What else we got to recover here? Bone staff. Cool. I need to get my Void Walker out, man. I'm getting killed out here. By the way, Lord Arbiter, do you like the new logo? The one that you can see on the left-hand side of the screen? I, Because I, I'm a graphic designer, man. I just want to know. I want to get a little feedback. How are you feeling about the new Stay Weird logo that you can see in the top left corner of the screen? Different game models as much. Okay, yeah. Cool. It's good. You like it? Cool, man. Yeah, I just want. A little, I just want a little feedback because, of course, I don't get many streamers currently or or viewership. So I want. I, well, the thing is, I um I did graphic design for years, so um not doing it as a career anymore means that sometimes I need to get a um get a different perspective. But this is my own graphic design work here in the in the top corner. So this is my design. It took me about, it took me a handful of hours the other day to do, um, but it looks, it, it's looking decent. Um, just want to make sure that we're on point in terms of our people and does it look good, you know, etc. Because um, you don't want an echo chamber where people are, um, where I think it looks good, therefore it has to look good in my opinion kind of thing. And that's why I was asking because I want to make sure that when I do these things that they are on point and they're not just me thinking it's good. But no, man, if you like it, thank you. Because um, I do freelance work still for, for you know, businesses or for bands or whatever. So I went with the philosophy when I designed this logo of what would a band, if I was making this a band, what would the band logo look like if I was designing a band merch logo? And that's how I've created this look because... It's my favorite style of design because it's sort of contemporary minimalism with a with a black with a few other things. So cuz I I I'm personally I'm really happy with this look. When I was in college I went into to media. Ah, cool, man. You see, I was a graphic designer for like four years. Full time, I mean, before I had to do it as freelance. But unfortunately, the company and I that I worked for didn't see eye to eye. And I, by the end of it, I felt like I was being bullied and I left. Um, I didn't leave exactly on good terms. And I, I kind of regret that because I do love being a graphic designer. So whenever I get the chance to do graphics design, I do it. And... I mean, you're going to see some upgrades to this stream. Like, so now we've got the new logo and the new art assets. We're going to probably do uh, an upgraded chat window, upgraded camera box. But these are all things that get upgraded in phases, you know. So I wanted to introduce the new logo, see how what the, what the feedback was on the new logo. And then from the new logo, I can garner whether it's worth going down the route of developing uh, something around this, which it definitely is. These are grey. These are tapped, but why? Oh, you made your own game. That's cool, man. Hey, that's no easy task. Well done. Um, 
No, I um, I mean, I went when I went to college. Uh, well, I went to sixth form and studied um, cr I studied graphic design, conventional design, art, and psychology, and IT. Um, and eventually, after that, I went on to do an apprenticeship. I became an apprentice designer for a year. I left the apprenticeship and became a uh, full-time graphic designer. Uh, and I did that for three years. But s oh, that's when I met you, uh, Matthew. That's the final time I met you, man. I was still a designer at that time. Because I had the silver hair and everything when you met me. I looked like Virgil from Devil May Cry. I remember Danny Chan used to call me uh, Virgil all the time. And that was back in the day with the OGs from the... OGs from Patriots. I'll tell you, man, we need to hang out sometime. See, I wanted to be a games developer at one point, and then when I decided I didn't want to be a games developer, I wanted to do graphics, and that's how I became a graphic designer. Um, and then when I did graphics, I became a full-time graphic designer and ended up becoming, well, because of the company that I worked for, the, uh, and I, I'll be honest, at the time I had some issues with my mental health. Um, I had a very difficult breakup uh, with a girl called Shannon. You know who Shannon is. Uh, and that breakup messed me up. And as a result of that, I ended up basically losing my job. Uh, not because... I was bad but because I was struggling with my mental health and th and they felt I wasn't competent even though it was just a it wasn't even personal it was just I was struggling and that because I didn't understand I just left um, and I miss it I really miss being a full-time graphic designer I, I always apply for those kind of positions but I find that um, the issue is because of graphic design, they want experienced designers. Where I'm experienced is great, but the problem with being experienced but not currently working in the industry, they always want to know why, and when I explain it, they're not interested. Which is why I'd love to start my own company, but you know. Nah, man, uh, I get that. Social anxiety. I mean, I've got uh, a BPD, borderline personality disorder. So uh, I struggle with a lot. I sometimes struggle with social situations unless I'm going out drinking, in which case, for instance, I'm, uh, well, I'm on stream and that gives me enough social anxiety to have to have a few drinks beforehand. But, you know... Eventually, what I realized was that I was after I lost my job in the design industry. Personal assistant. No, I don't blame you, man. I mean, whatever works for you, dude. Um, and it, I mean, I, honestly, um, if it works for you, then it's for the best. Um, I and it's. Um, I mean, I myself, I struggled with mental health issues for a very long time, especially around that time that I was just describing in my life. And what happened was, is that because I lost my job as a graphic designer, um, I, I, well, I had to leave. I, I had to go to therapy to deal with that because I, I, it was my dream job and I lost it. So I felt like I had failed. Now, do I still feel like I failed? Kind of. Um... But I um I realize that I'm not any less talented. It just hasn't worked out for me. Um, so I realize it's not that I'm not good at it. It's just that I, I haven't had the right circumstances. Which is why if I said if I ever came into a large sum of money, one of the first things I'd do is I'd be starting my own graphic design studio and give people who have struggled with personal issues, with health issues, with disabilities... Uh, mental health issues, mental capacity issues, who want a chance to be designers, 
uh, I'd be the I'd want to recruit them because I feel like those are the people within the industry that do not get the best chance. Like, I'd want to be the company that would take me on ju and just listen to me, because it's it's not that I'm not good at my job; it's that I just have had a bad time. Uh, and as a result of that, I'd want to be a company that takes people on. If I had the money to do it, I don't, but I, I would love to own my own design studio. If I won the lottery, the first thing I'd do is be investing in a design studio. It'd be a creative space where I'd train apprentices, I'd train newbies, I'd train, I'd take advanced people on. We would have a really good time. Uh, I'd take media people on, so, game, so anyone who wants to do design work. I mean, I'm talking about in another life here, like, you know, in, in a dream, but, you know. You gotta have a dream, man. You know what I mean? Okay, so we gotta... Weaken the bonds of the blaze bound elemental. That item is still recharging. I suppose the thing I suppose the thing with having an assistant dude is like um Yeah, that will never happen. I mean it's just I, I, that's the only um the only thing with that about the lottery is that it's not for personal gain. It's just I don't know how else I'm going to start a business. I don't have the money off my own back to do it, so I'd have to win the lottery or some shit. If money wasn't an issue, I would certainly be starting my own company there was a graphic designer. I mean, I already have, technically, I'm a sole trader, I'm a freelancer. But at the same time, it's, it's not the same. There's some really interesting stuff to be said about, um... I mean, everyone's got a dream, um, whether they realise it or not. For some people it's fame, some people it's wealth. For me, I'd just be starting my own business. <laughs> to be fair, dude, that's the worst, that's the most I've ever won on the lottery. I've won a tenner before. But my, my uh, I've got a friend who won like 200 and something pounds. It's like, oh, that's nice. I won two hundred pounds on a bet once, like when I went to the horse races with with my workplace. I won two hundred pounds on a horse racing bet, and I once won um, one hundred and fifty pounds in a game of in a game of roulette. We went to the casino. Um, on the night I got engaged, we ended up in a casino in Edinburgh. Uh, I was extremely drunk and somehow won like one hundred and fifty pounds, and I was like, hell yeah. What the hell? Something just attacked me. You see, everyone says that about the lottery, but then um, a fr someone I know growing up, his mum won a uh, Porsche 911 GT on a scratch card, so... Um, she sold it and she bought a new house because she sold it for like 200 grand or something stupid See, I've never played bingo, but I've got 
family members who did. I mean, I think I've played bingo when I was on holiday a few times, but like, you know, it was because there was nothing else to do and I wasn't allowed to go out drinking yet. And then when I used to go abroad and play bingo, it was only because I had to. And then as soon as I got of an age where I was allowed to go and buy alcohol, I used to just go out on my own and buy drinks and get very, 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 very drunk. Like the last time I went to Ibiza. I, uh, I split off from my parents, said I'll be back at the end of the night. I didn't get back at the end of the night. I just got very drunk. It was, it was great. Just gonna crack open this. It's not another beer. It's a can of monster. To keep us going. Cause this stream's gonna be a long one. I wanna do a few quests, hopefully a dungeon, and then we're gonna drop into some Halo. Baron Geddon. Let's siphon some life from him. Here's a question, Lord Arbiter. I know, of course, you're a big fan of Halo. Have you played any of the Halo Reach since it came out again? I'm out of range. Bullet sponge, just oh well, yeah. I'm pretty sure bullet sponges annoy everyone. Ah, oh, I'm dead too. I'm back. <laughs> I die on that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> MCC. Oh, yeah, the bullet sponges. Well, bullet sponges annoy you in every game. I also downloaded Quake Champions because a buddy of mine wants to play.
yeah. Well, I'm going to be playing some Halo in a little bit, dude. Um, I just want to get a few more levels on here. So it seems to go over here. I was hoping we could cap it off with a dungeon, so. It's a horde play, yes it is. We need to get a Twilight Overseer's key. Oh, you're approaching me? Yeah, of course, man. That sounds good to me. Um, I mean, I don't mind watching MWO because that's definitely something I'm interested in. I I'm interested in any games. Cause I've been so departed from current games for a while that I just play World of Warcraft mainly in Halo. So, Ah, we got a dungeon pop. Nice. So we'll do one dungeon, then hop into some Reach. Drop our Fell Stalker in because it's going to be a, an interrupt heavy dungeon, I think. Because this is one of the Miss of Pandaria dungeons, but still. But some of my infernal boy here.
I just hold. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Paladin. I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get my imp, because the imp's going to help us. One thing I've started doing, dude, is uh, I've started playing Halo Reach with a gamepad. Two monitors and a 4K TV. <laughs> well, don't. <laughs> See, I've never used Discord as a platform, so I'm not sure. I just use Twitch, but I use OBS Streamlabs to provide my, my stream. What does that even mean? He's going to ook me in the duka. See, at the moment, I'm still stuck with a single monitor because I haven't got my dual monitor set up yet, but that's going to be a thing soon. Warlock gameplay has been really fun so far, though. Just a moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Turns out, um, using your e-sync sets off the smoke alarm up here very temperamentally, so... I guess this warlock was just too hot to handle, hey? 
all the fire magic we're doing set off the smoke alarm. Oh. Hoptilus. Garen Thermal on board. If you were streaming MWO on Twitch, uh, man, I would say get OBS Streamlabs. Streamlabs is pretty easy to set up though, dude. If you ever did want to stream MWO, that's how you do it. I recommend Streamlabs 100%. It's pretty intuitive, like it's self explanatory how you set it up.
again, social anxiety knows people will be watching and judging. Hey man, listen, no matter what you do in life, people watch and judge you, so just fucking do whatever you want, man. Like, I've learned the hard way that I was so scared of being judged for twitching, be like, because, uh, I don't think I'm very good at anything. I don't think I'm entertaining. But then I, I've done it. And people are, people are enjoying my content, so... The only way you'll ever get through with streaming is working out whether people are enjoying your content or not. And to be honest, people are enjoying my content, personal experience, because I add a more of a relaxed touch to things. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's one of those things. Um, it's If you want to stream, it's something to work on, man, at the end of the day. Um, if you don't want to stream, then don't. It's one of those things that I really want to stream because I, I always wanted to have a YouTube channel and I always wanted to have some content creation. This is how I'm going to do it, so... Plus, man, a lot of people get angry when they're losing. Not to undermine you in any way. Just to say, obviously, people, some people, no one likes losing. Oh, when I'm losing, I get really passive aggressive. Well, you see, Discord might be the best route for you, man. If you want to start streaming, but you're worried about who might see you, then do do something where you know who who will watch. I.e., Discord streaming. Giving your personal circumstances around that and what your concerns are, it makes sense. Ah, fair enough.
Okay, so. We've got our uh, instance done there. So we're going to call it a day here on World of Warcraft, but I'm just going to start the Halo stream in two minutes. So I'm going to go on to be right back, and I'll be back with you very shortly, okay? <laughs> 